So good afternoon. Welcome back to the CNC lecture series. So far we have discussed about the fundamentals of LC CNC. That is the principle of operation, major components, classification based on the open loop or the closed loop control system, absolute versus incremental mode of programming, positional system, some uh, mathematical or the quantity aspect or the design analysis aspect as far as the resolution, accuracy, repeatability. Uh, in, in generically, the precision part is concerned that we have already discussed and the number of pulse count, pulse frequency, encoder gain and some associated numerical problems we have discussed and another important topic that we have already discussed that is the intercalation, predominantly point to point, straight line and circular intercalation which we frequently encounter in mechanical components. Today we will discuss about some application domain of the NCCNC machine tools or other in other words the machines or the machine tools which are frequently and popularly encountered in the shop floor which are rather productive and used in the commercial domain. Those machine tools are basically augmented version of the fundamental category of CNC machine tool that is either CNC lathe or milling category CNC milling machine. Those are augmented with some added features to boost the productivity and that gives rise to the concept of turning center and machining center. So what are the content? Turning center and its features, machining center and its features, what is multitasking machines, their benefits and few CNC machine tool manufacturers which are prominent all over the globe. To understand the concept of turning center and machining center, let us throw some light on this particular building block diagram. There are two axes in one axis that is the horizontal axis, it defines the varieties, whereas in the vertical axis it defines the productivity. Now different machining system are being considered to occupy different relative positions in the diagram. At the extreme right hand bottom most position, there is a conventional machine or standard CNC. Over that, there is some overlapping, that is the manufacturing cell. Then there is flexible manufacturing system. Then there is a special system. And finally, at the top left most corner, there is a dedicated equipment. So as we move towards up, that is along the y axis, the system which are placed according to the their uh, relative merits of the productivity and the flexibility, it signifies more about the productivity. And in the horizontal side, as we move towards right, it offers more flexibility. So as we had discussed from the very beginning, the NCCNC machine tool caters towards the flexibility. It offers more flexibility to the operation, thereby uh, justifying its candidature to realize batch production or mass customization. But when we are in a business mode, we have to think about the financial or the commercial aspect so that the same machine tools will be able to enhance the productivity economically so that it can justify its candidature for the business purpose. The basic CNC machine tool, whether it is CNC lathe or CNC milling, that lacks productivity and therefore they are not suitable for high production purpose, particularly for the commercial segment. This is why some modifications are required which are incorporated in the basic CNC lathe or in the CNC milling to realize what is called turning center and machining center. Now as far as this particular block diagram or the building block diagram is considered, this CNC machining center or turning center will occupy its position within the domain of flexible manufacturing system. So flexible manufacturing system is not only include the standalone CNC machine tools, but at the same time it also includes some material handling devices, other like robots, automated guided vehicles and of course 
there will be computer and communication system to establish a global control to the software and the program so that we can ensure the required flexibility so that is what exactly is the flexible manufacturing system now within the flexible manufacturing system one key components could have been the either the turning center or machining center or it may be combinations of the turning center and machining center now in the turning center and machining center if we compare between the standard and machine and the cnc turning center or machining center so there is some improvement in the productivity and that is what exactly is the intention of building turning center and machining centers so what is the turning center it is the augmentation of basic cnc lathe to realize high productivity without much compromising the flexibility so the cnc turning center it is basically a cnc lathe but some added features which can boost or augment the productivity those are incorporated so that in addition to the flexibility we can achieve high degree of productivity now those features enable the cnc turning center to enhance the productivity of the system thereby justify its candidature in the business domain so to start with the different feature first is the slant bed construction if you compare the generic physical construction of the turning center in comparison to a cnc lathe one noticeable uh, feature is that the horizontal turning uh, sorry uh, horizontal uh, slides are now replaced by a slant bed type of construction because it has got certain added advantages what are those first it offers more resistance to bending and torsion due to some inclination with the vertical it offers more resistance to bending and torsion during cutting so another thing is there or the second point is that it facilitates job loading unloading and turret indexing now the space in front of the machine is no longer restricted unlike the horizontal slide type due to the sand bed construction the frontal zone is now open so that facilitates job loading unloading without much restriction particularly the heavier jobs and it also helps to index the turret without any collision or without any uh, restrictions third is the it ensures automatic chip disposal in a when the your uh, slides are horizontal at that time what happens as the cutting progresses chips are continuously being eliminated from that job and those are deposited and accumulated on the bed it's on the slide itself so it is the need of the intervention of the operator to clean those areas of the chips so as to keep the cutting zone free from the accumulated and unwanted chips but for that particular purpose human intervention is required but here due to the frontal portion being free the chips after being eliminated from the job will fall freely due to gravity into the tray and there is a automatic chip disposal system which will carry those chips to a outside conveyor uh, 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 to a conveyor and would be eventually transported to a bin which is kept outside the machine but in the vicinity of the machining area the second important point is that rigid construction the rigid usually the cnc turning centers are rigid and heavier in construction as compared to the conventional cnc lathe due to this rigid construction what are the advantage we can accrue that is the if the system can withstand high cutting force and vibration so that permits the system or the machine to employ heavier cars and to deal with the heavier jobs as a result there is a possibility of employing high speed feed and depth of cut from the material cutting perspective these are the three prominent parameters by which we can regulate the metal cutting operation so when high productivity is required we have to focus our attention that high feed high depth of cut 
should and high speed should be employed as far as possible and when the cutting speed and cutting depth of cut increases consequently the there is a possibility of increasing the cutting force but since the machine is a heavier in construction it can withstand high cutting force and vibration and therefore it is possible to apply high speed and high depth of cut and of course high speed also since it also permits the higher power to be employed so as a result we can achieve high metal removal rate because metal removal rate is directly proportional to speed feed and depth of cut so that is how it is possible to augment the productivity another very interesting feature or noticeable feature is that availability of the rotary indexable tool turret in a conventional or rather in a conventional cnc lathe the tool post is similar to a central lathe so one tool is mounted necessary operation is carried out then it has to be unloaded and again second tool ha has to be mounted with lot of precision regarding its positioning and clamping so this frequent loading and unloading takes lot of idle time which drastically adversely affects the productivity but in case of indexable tool turret a drum like turret is there so in that particular turret a large number of tool pockets are provided equally distributed rather where in the individual pockets several different cutting tools can be mounted both external tool as well as internal tools so a commonly encountered a complicated component may require 8 to 9 or 10 number of different cutting tools to be operated or to be engaged one after another sequentially this indexable tool turret permits all 10 12 tools to be mounted in the different pockets and they can be called to take part in the cutting action by simply incorporating a command in the program that is m06 followed by tool number so merely this particular block of information is just sufficient to index the tool turret and bring the correct tool to the correct cutting position and take part in the cutting so that saves the lot of idle time so those so, so what are the Uh, advantages associated with this indexable tool turret first several tools can be mounted any tool can be indexed to occupy cutting position easier to change damaged inserts these inserts are basically in the cnc turning center or machining center it is always recommended that we should go for the carbide tip inserts and these inserts are in replaceable so after the its expiry or once it becomes wear out it is necessary to replace the old one by a new one to uh, to accomplish that only a small uh, what is called allen key is sufficient just to replace that particular old insert by the new insert it will take merely 15 to 30 seconds that much is sufficient to replace the worn out insert by a new two by a new one so that is why the there is a substantial saving of the time as regard to the change in, changing in the inserts so that enhances the productivity large speed range advantage is that wide range of drop diameters can be machined with the appropriate speeds unlike conventional machine tool where there are limited number of rpms are available here we can have infinite number of rpms are available so if we want to maintain the constant surface speed that is vc constant then obviously depending on the diameter n should keep on increasing following a hyperbolic law n is inversely proportional to diameter so as the diameter reduces n should keep on increasing so since there is a wide speed range is available so large diameter range of jobs can be accommodated so that also enhances the productivity and since in a single setup wide drop diameters can be accommodated it also enhances the flexibility of operations in the earlier slide i was talking about the automatic chip or swap disposal 
Same thing as that I have mentioned automatic chip on mayor. What is the advantage? It helps to dispose chips continuously to an outside bin automatically and continuously without <coughs> stopping the hoppers. Afterwards, I will show you one photograph of the CNC turning center, how the bins is located and how it is possible to convey the chips continuously without stopping the machine, thereby reducing the idle time. So, one advantage is that there is no need to engage any operator. Self lubrication, this is another feature. In conventional machine tool, what is required that periodically it requires operator in uh, 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 intervention to lubricate the slides so that it should be favorable for the machine to work on it. So that requires maintenance crew or the operator to intervene. But in the turning center, there is a self lubrication system. There is a separate drive system that deals with the lubricating oil, which is automatically start working over a small period so that the lubricating oil can be dispersed over the machine at different locations for lubrication purpose. So they are, this work is also taken care of automatically without operator intervention. So that reduces maintenance work. A separate additional, some a separate hydraulic system is utilized for quick clamping release of jobs in the chuck through paddle switch. In a conventional CNC lathe, job loading unloading is another crucial area where a lot of idle time is consumed. But in case of turning center, a separate hydraulic system is there which is responsible for quick clamping and release of jobs in the chuck through a paddle switch by the operator. So one press of the paddle switch will ensure the jaws to come closer so that jobs can be clamped. And similarly, another press by the paddle switch to the paddle switch will allow the jaws to go outside so that jobs can be released and can be unclamped. So turret indexing, because in the drum turret throughout the periphery, 10, 12, 8, whatever be the number of total tools that is mounted that needs to be indexed to bring the correct tool into the cutting position. So that rotation which is popularly known as indexing that is also accomplished to the hydraulic system. For long center job like a shaft, we require additionally steady rest or roller support okay, to reduce the vibration and to ensure that this steady rest roller engagement and disengagement that is also accomplished by a separate hydraulic system. Similarly, for the same long slender job, it may require to provide support into the tail stock. So that will advancement and retraction that is also possible to the hydraulic system. So these are the small, small feature, but it plays havoc role to reduce the idle time and in other words, to improve the productivity. So all the aforesaid features makes the turning center highly attractive, versatile and productive for the industry. That is why you will find all majority of the machine tools which are available in the real life shop floor, either of the turning center type or if it is in the milling category, then it would be in the machining center category. Now this is a picture or image of a uh, real life turning center of HMT make. The model is known as SBCNC 30. So this is the work area and what I was talking about the location or the instance of the bin. So this is the bin where the chips can be disposed and this is the pathway through which the conveyor can move in a closed path. So whenever during cutting the chips are accumulated beneath the tray or, or rather on the conveyor and that conveyor keeps on moving continuously. So during its reversal due to gravity, it will dislodge all the accumulated chips in the bin without any operator <coughs> intervention. So that automatically keeps the work environment clean 
and remove the uh, your uh, all the spark dis uh, disposes automatically to earth the beam. This is a view of the indexing current. If you have a very closer look, you will find that there is a number pocket 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, 8 different pockets are there where 8 different tools, which is with the combinations of external as well as internal tools that can be mounted and they can be brought into the cutting or to occupy cutting position by incorporating a block <coughs> that is M06 followed by tool number. So, if I want, uh, I am interested to bring the tool number 3, I have to men uh, mention in the block M06 T0303 or T0707 as the case may be. So, this indexable turret is one of the very interesting and attractive feature of the CNC turning center. Next, the machining center. So, machining center is another category of versatile machine tool which is which falls in the milling category. So, when a basic CNC milling machine is upgraded to machining center by adding certain features which will boost the productivity that gives rise to the concept of machining center. So, a CNC milling machine when it is fortified with added features in an attempt to realize high productivity that gives rise to the concept of machining center. Unlike CNC turning center where there was indexable tool turret, here the equivalent thing is that it is called indexable tool magazine with automatic tool changer. In earlier case, the turret containing or having 10 to 12 number of tools was utilized to impart motion for the cutting. But in case in case of machining center, you mind that here tools are rotating in nature. So in that case, a separate tool magazine is utilized to accommodate several tools and a separate auto a tool changing arm is responsible for transfer of the tool from the magazine to the spindle and after completion of the work that that particular tool which was taken earlier from the designated pocket will now taken out from the spindle and will be transferred to the designated pocket so that system as a whole known as atc that is automatic tool changer. So, advantage is that large number of tools can be mounted in the magazine and it can be indexed to access any tool according to the requirement. So, tool changing arm can transfer exchange tool between magazine and the spindle very fast. Here, there is no need for go for a program. Apparently, it may seem that this tool changing arm can be call it as a robot, but obviously it is not a programmable. So, we cannot call it robot. But the arm to some extent looks like a manipulator. So, automatically it collects the tool from the magazine and transfer it to the spindle. So, this saves a lot of time and that helps to improve the productivity. Another attractive feature is that automatic pallet changer. Pallet changer is nothing but a modular fixture. So, in case of milling machine, the jobs are clamped on the table or on the fixture and with that fixture in turn is mounted on the table and that tool keeps on rotating. But in this case, in case of machining center, how to improve the productivity as far as the job loading and loading is concerned? Pallet changer is nothing but a modular fixture having some standard number of holes to make it suitable for quick clamping of different types of uh, your prismatic jobs uh, because jobs are could not undergo any rotation. So, machining center obviously is meant for dealing with the prismatic type of jobs that is a box type of structure. To facilitate quick clamping and unclamping the pallets are used which are basically modular fixtures having lot of standard holes through which those jobs can be mounted and clamped securely very fast. Now, to augment the productivity, 
twin pellets are normally used. Why that these twin pellets are used and how it can boost the productivity? Just imagine there are two such pellets. In one pellet, jobs are mounted and it is put under the machine so that machine can start working. The machine may take 15 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes of time during your involvement. During that time, the operator will remain free. So the second pellet, see the operator is free, now can he or she can prepare the job and can load on the fixture on the pallet. So that immediately after completion of the first job, the job which was already under operation, that will be taken out and this new clamped job can be sent inside for immediate start of the job. So that reduces your job loading and unloading time. Because operator loading unloading time and machining time goes in parallel. So this job welding device makes use of standard modular fixture for quick clamping of jobs. Job unloading loading time is reduced drastically because both are working simultaneously. So use of twin pallet helps ensure production process to continue when unloading of completed job and loading of phase job takes place outside the machining zone. So machine keeps on working and during that time operator being free, the operator can be utilized for loading or unclamping of the previous job. And other general features like rigid construction, wide varieties of speed range, those are similar to that of a turning center. So that the common general advantages can be accrued in case of machining center as well, similar to turning center. A five axis machining center is extremely versatile and extensively used in FMSS. In the earlier, in the very first or second lecture, we had discussed about the number of motion that we can have or that we can uh, implement in NCCLC system. So, three linear motion XYZ, which is very common. But in addition, in case of five axis machining center, the jobs which is mounted on the table that can also be swivel or tilted. And the head, which may be horizontal or it may be vertical, depending on the configuration. Mostly five axis machine center are having horizontal <coughs> spindle. That horizontal spindle can also be tilted to approach the job from the complex locations to our complex machining. So five different axis of motion or degrees of freedom can be realized in five axis machining center, three linear and two rotary. That is why it is so versatile. This is just one photograph that I had taken from the uh, catalog of VFW, that is a, one of the very popular manufacturer of machining center. This is a photograph of indexable tool magazine. So that is the tool magazine, you can see there are quite a good number of rotating tools are mounted. And this is what exactly is the indexable arm or the tool changing arm. This tool changing arm can rotate suitably and can collect or the transfer tool from the magazine to the spindle and the vice versa. Next, because our demand or expectation is enormous. So we are not still satisfied with the turning center and the machining center, although they offer lot of added advantages as regard to the boosting of the productivity. Now, role of turning center and machining centers are different because turning center deals with your axisymmetric jobs which will undergo rotation and tool will have a linear motion. Whereas, in case of machining center, it will be supposed to deal with the prismatic job and the rotation will be imparted to the cutting tool. Now, the thing is that a complicated job may require sequential operations in turning center followed by machining center. Say for a flange type of job, the central drilling, boring, step turning, facing, taper, all these things can be carried out in a turning center. But additionally, in the along a part, in a flange part, along a particular piece circle diameter, there can have quite a good number of even numbers of holes usually remain present for fixing up with the nut bolts. It, depending on the size, it may be 6, 
it will be 8, 10, 20, 24, something like that. Now those deals you need to carry it out <coughs> separately in the turning, sorry, passing center. That means after completion of the job by the turning center, it has to be unloaded and it has to be transported to the machining center for carrying out this drill holes. Now multitasking machine is basically combinations of turning center and machining center where a separate drive system is mounted which can be utilized to impart rotation to the rotating tool similar to the milling machine in the machining center so that these different bolt holes can be prepared or can be carried out without transporting it to a separate machining center. So in conventional turning center, cylindrical jobs are rotated in chuck and cutting tools are given feed motion without rotation. The integration of milling into the turning environments with live tooling. Live tooling means motions are imparted to the cutting tool. Motion particularly rotary motion led to the development of new category machines. This new class of machine tools that is called multitasking machines which are purpose built to facilitate milling and turning within the same work envelope. So if multitasking machine, sometimes it is also known as hybrid machine, if it is made available, then we do not require additional a separate machining center. So in that multitasking machine, after completion of the work as usual by the turning center, other drilling related activities which otherwise would have been required to be performed in a turning, sorry, in a machining center that can be successfully carried out in the same turning center by using live tuning. So integration of milling into the turning environment gives rise to the concept of multitasking machine. So multitasking combines several cutting processes such as turning with milling, drilling, tapping. That is primarily hole making and default drilling on one machine in contrast to having those processes handled by multiple machines. So that rule out the need or involvement of multiple machines. So one machine is sufficient to carry out lot of varieties of work. That is why these are very much versatile. So a separate turret accommodates rotating tools to carry out drilling and milling operations in addition to basic turning related operations. So after carrying out the turning related operations, the hole making operation like milling, drilling, tapping and default drilling, those can be carried out successfully in a single setup. So what are the benefits? Significant reduction in production lead times and part costs because we can replace one two machines by a single machine and the in-between transportation time is completely eliminated. If the same, only one setup is sufficient, so machining accuracy and the part positional accuracy will be far better. Increased capacity, flexibility, productivity and of course the profitability. Improved cash flow by producing parts on demand. That means quick customer changes or demands can be incorporated very fast. That, that enables to ensure improved cash flow. So cost benefits such as reduced part cost via fewer fixture tools and labor requirements of the some other attractive features of the multitasking machines. So that this is the benefits and finally just I have considered this as a supplement. Some CNC machine tool popular manufacturer's name I have included. That is the HMD Hindustan machine tools, Bridgeport, BMW, Haas, Praga, DMG Mori. So that's all about the this turning center and machining center. Because in the real life shop flow, we predominantly encounter the use of turning centers and machining center because they are highly productive in nature and at the same time they maintain or they offer as usual flexibility of the CNC machine tools. So thank you very much for your patience hearing.